Hi there guys, uh, this video is a bit of a crazy one that I stumbled upon earlier today. Um, as you can see by the title there, it's false memories implanted into the brains of sleeping mice. Um, I thought this was quite appropriate given everything that was going on with the Mandela effect at the moment. I know that it's pretty much a split group as to who believes in it and who doesn't. Uh, I would say this isn't necessarily anything to directly do with that, but I was just looking up false memories in general and stumbled upon this. Uh, so, so the general gist of this, so you can see everything on the screen there. The general gist of this is false memory implantation. So, as it says on here, neuroscientists in France have implanted false memories into the brains of sleeping mice. Using electrodes to directly stimulate and record the activity of nerve cells, they created artificial associative memories that persisted while the animals snoozed and then influenced their behaviour when they awoke. Mem manipulating memories by tinkering with brain cells is becoming more routine in neuroscience labs. Last year, one team of researchers used a technique called optogenics, uh, optogenics, again, look into that yourself. Bit of a confusing subject as to how it all works. But the general gist of it, I'll, I'll leave a link to this article as well. Um, but you know when people are testing on a lab rat, we are effectively a slightly more evolved lab rat as human beings. We're being tested all the time in ways that we don't even know about. Um, but it's usually a precursor when you see a lab rat, sort of, i.e. a mouse or a rat in a lab being tested on. You know that they're doing this for a reason, so that to test if it can be done on humans. I can see what's going to be happening with this moving forward. Mark my words, you've heard it here now. So they're going to say things like, um, to, to quit smoking, for example, we're going to change your memory so that you've never smoked or if you're scared of flying we're going to change your memory so that you're not going to be scared of flying again much like any other system there's always going to be benefits of it however these are usually done for nefarious reasons that are a wolf in sheep's clothing let's let's say so it will be sold in a way that will make it sound great and make people want to do this but when you start playing with people's memories, you could literally change the fundamentals of who they are. So if all of a sudden uh, you, you could probably change people's political preferences or philosophical preferences of how they choose to live their life, whether they believe in a certain religion. Um, I just think that science knows no boundaries. I think that people... Maybe it's this human nature of curiosity. <sighs> Where does it all stop? Where does it all stop? Um, read this for yourselves. Do your own research on it, guys. I always say don't just take my word for it. Well, I don't just always say it, but I'm saying it now. Don't just take my word for it. Do your own research. Make Come to your own conclusions. I'm not always right. Again, I'm just predicting what I believe judging by the methodology of what they typically how they typically would introduce a new product or service etc into the market i'm just using that same philosophy and applying it to this i could be completely wrong but from my experience of what i've seen and researched it's usually quite nefarious as to why they will be doing these things there, there is usually a, an agenda behind it uh, as i say changing someone's political preference, changing someone's religion. Testing it on mice today, who knows who they'll be testing it on tomorrow. But that's just all from me, guys. Uh, I might even change my channel name to The Waffler, because I do talk a lot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, please like and subscribe. Also, share the videos as well, guys. I want to build this account up, and I want to make more, I'm air quoting here, high-tech videos. Um, with pictures and video footage. Um, but it does take a lot of time so with regards to work and whatnot. So, uh, so yeah, I do need to build this channel up, guys. There's always information out there. Um, yeah.
Like and subscribe, share it. Thanks a lot for your time, guys. Cheers.